Pontivan's only 28 kilometers from um, well, we're probably halfway between each of the places now and notice some cattle sales going on here well I noticed the big bulls actually first big bulls and buffaloes in the back of these trucks so uh, we might go in there have a bit of a sticky beak how you doing guys it's a baby what are you doing chowing down on some sticky rice and some meat oh no I have no idea how this works, whether they just buy them straight off the back of a truck or uh, they do show them in a pen or what, I don't know. Oh, I'm new to this. <laughs> They do. Looks like they just show up in the back of the trucks. We'll show up with them in the trucks and uh, maybe negotiate from there. They're a big beast, eh? Head to tail. Packed head to tail, two, four, six, eight in the back of there. Gives a bit of weight in it, eh? Mm. Oh, we got ten in this one. There you going guys, all little small ones aren't they, little yearlings. Okay, they do have some pens down here. One there hooking into a feed. Uh, maybe we've missed the, the best of it, or not at all. Maybe this is just it, they just show up and sell them off the back of the trucks. There he is. What's up mate, they not happy with you, they passing you on. Oh grey, this one's more sort of brown isn't he? Haven't seen any blondies here or ginger ninjas. About 10 million kit for a buffalo, Nene was just saying. Which is a bit over a thousand US. Around a thousand, yeah. A million kip is about a hundred bucks. Okay, these ones aren't for fighting, they're just for breeding. Oh, yesterday they do it already. Because they not, yeah, they not do like, like before. Just have a celebration something. Yeah, and they do it whenever. Like a wedding party okay. or yeah. a basi ceremony, something yeah. like this, they're doing. So it isn't a regular weekly event it's only when there's a celebration some of these guys are from Tarkek they come from all over to sell their um their cattle here big buffalo in Okay, not much happening here. A lot of just sitting around looking at trucks. Trucks with bulls and cows on them. We will continue on to Pontivan. Hello, mate. He is used for fighting. 12 million kip, I was just saying. He is worth 1,200 on you, dude. That's what you got. 
On the 15th of every month? Every month, 15th. On the 15th. In the we couldn't print get, of jar number one. We couldn't get further away from that. Really good. It's over. It's like I was fighting. Three weeks away. Fighting somebody, they gave birth a baby. Yeah. So it's liberation like that. Um, but how to be... Hon Osali. 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 เออเลยมันบ่แม่อเมริกาเสือบ่คนอเมริกาออสเตรเลียออเมริกาบ่แม่อเมริกาเลยออสเตรเลียออสเตรเลียออสเตรเลียออสเตรเลียออสเตรเ
and severely bombing this place. Ponsavan, this area, is the most bombed area in Laos. So, I can understand their attitude towards Americans coming into their villages like this even now. Uh, he keep talking about the war because he don't like America. Yeah. <laughs> he, he about, oh, I'm hurt in my heart. Just something He's like hurt that. in his heart because yeah, of what hurt. they did, yeah. Because his family is... His family is have extract from the war. Were attacked. He was yeah. just little fellow when it happened. Don't have how, just live in the forest, live in the cave, live in the... Just like that, you see. Yeah. yeah, it was hard to cook because it, the, the yeah. planes would see it. We see it. In this area, it wasn't just high up aerial bombing. They were running attacks um, from over the mountains in fighter jets and things like that, um, sending missiles down. It wasn't B-52s flying up high, just carpet bombing loud like they did in this area um, which was a stronghold of the Patet Lao the CIA were conducting missions with Hmong fighters over the mountains into this area so you can understand his um, animosity towards Americans yeah as I said one of the first things when he seen me was ask if I was where am I if, from if you're from America, <laughs> and when we said Australi which is Australia. He was, oh, oh yeah, yeah, America. Oh. <laughs> and he was happy. Then that's when he went into his big story about how he lived and what happened to his family and that here. So. I, I tell. Because, because he, his family, his father, his family, is worked with Patet Lao. <laughs> that's why he don't like Yeah, her. yeah. Yeah, yeah, this whole area of Ponsavarm was a stronghold for the the Tet Lao and they, yeah. just over the mountains was the CIA base in uh, Long Chang and they were training Hmong villagers to fly, uh, fly the planes and come and um, conduct missions aerial bombings and that in this area not just the high up B-52 carpet bombing that was done throughout Laos they were actually conducting offensive offensives into this area so 24 hours a day around the clock for years that young he would have been a young man at the time yeah suffered that onslaught but that is not the attitude of um all Lao people here i have been asked many times what is the um set sentiment of um the Lao people towards americans and usually it's okay isn't it but yeah. you, you can understand it in this area you know and maybe I think we're asked similar questions when we're up in Bieng Sai where I was from because that being the um, that was the str um, another stronghold that was where the Patet Lao conducted their um, offensive from up in Puapan, something like Lao is the... I don't know how to say it. It's the big, biggest bomb in the world. Yeah, I yeah, know. yeah. For those, yeah, those who have, uh, do know a little of their history Number and have been one. watching my channel for a while know that, you know, Lao was... Um, per capita most bombed country in the world. It, they dumped more bombs on Lao than what they did in, Ch in uh, Germany and Japan put together in World War II. No other country has been bombed as much as Lao. Now there was a plane, a plane load of bombs dropped on Lao every eight minutes, 24 hours a day for nine years. every eight minutes for nine years incredible <laughs>